Without price stability, the economy doesn't work for anyone. In particular, without price stability, we will not achieve a sustained period of strong labor market conditions that benefit all. Today, the FOMC raised our policy interest rate by a half percentage point. Oh my God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody, stay calm. What's the Everybody procedure, stay everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm. Wait, 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 wait. Everybody, you're calm. calm down. We continue to anticipate that ongoing increases will be appropriate. <laughs> No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. In order to attain a stance of monetary policy that is sufficiently restrictive to return inflation to 2% over time. In addition, we're continuing the process of significantly reducing the size of our balance sheet. Wait, 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 wait. Restoring price stability will likely require maintaining a restrictive policy stance for some time. <laughs> But you know what? I really do hope that everybody liked that intro because I think it's very well suited for what happened today. Hello, my fellow investors, and welcome back to another video. Uh, I really just wanted to talk about the main thing that happened today as of, what, December 14th? And that is that the Fed, well, met today. Well, technically, they've been meeting since yesterday on Tuesday, but they finally met today and they essentially decided on what interest rates to put out for essentially this month and we got the answer and it ended up being a 0.5 percent interest rate hike and the reason why this was taken just just awfully in the market is because for the past several months well we have been getting this narrative all throughout the market the fed was going to pivot when it came to interest rate hikes they thought that they were eventually just going to stop just raising interest rates you know okay we're going to go down to 50 basis points and then we're just going to stop from there that's it that's enough no more except that didn't really happen as you guys just saw but the main reason why people thought that this was going to occur why this pivot was going to occur was because of something that occurred back in october i even covered this in one of my videos in october guys to calm markets bank of england will buy bonds on whatever scale is necessary and that is essentially why we got the narrative for like the past what like two months that the fed here will just stop raising rates however as you guys just saw they are not not only did they increase it but take a look at this along with the increase came an indication that officials expect to keep rates higher through next year with no reduction until 2024 completely crashing the markets it's hilarious because they got half of it right but the other half was just not there at all and that's essentially what caused this well crash i guess you could say when it came to the markets it's hilarious because well you would think that them going from 75 to 50 would mean that okay we're heading at least in the right direction okay sure we might get more interest rates hikes in the future but they may not be that bad right they may be like 50 50 50 25 and then there may be like 10 or 15 or whatever right inflation is coming down this is actually good news and yet the market was just like nope nope absolutely not complete collapse so this is actually very very funny in my personal opinion because i even said it in my life if you guys didn't check out my live stream when i did it on cpi day i even said i don't think we're going to get much movement which by the way we did see movement but the market after cpi essentially it came down i mean if we take a look at this we could see cpi day boom right here and then it just came crashing back down to essentially normal and then after today it just came down even more because obviously of what i just said but i even said during that live stream that i do not believe that we're going to see anything when it comes to market movements in the up or down until the following day when the fed actually decides as to what in the world they're going to do so right now we just saw it guys the fed j powell just came out and said yeah we are not going to stop raising interest rates up until we see this thing actually come down and reach our target because at that point you know if anything were to happen we're probably going to get a volkner situation and for all of those of you who may not know exactly what i'm talking about here is guys the interest rates the federal funds rates as you guys can see right here 62 year historical graph and if we actually see exactly what i'm talking about is that well when volkner came in guys inflation was very very high so 
he literally had to ramp up interest rates all the way up to almost 20%, 19.85% to be exact, in order to quell it. And then when he realized, okay, inflation is coming down, inflation is coming down, they're like, okay, well, we can lower interest rates. And then he lowered it, he lowered it, he lowered it. And then he brought it as low as about like, what, 9 or 8.6 or something like that and then he realized oh wait inflation is not dying down we'll ramp it back up and so he brought it back up to even a higher high i believe now it got all the way up to 20.05 even beating the previous of like 19.85 and then they tried to bring it back down again and then they realized nope we gotta bring it right back up all of this happened take a look at this from this point right here or at least let, let's just take it from like right as right here essentially look at this february 18th february 11th 1980 to essentially over here, June 8th, 1981. That was what, a year and a half? That's insane. That's absolutely insane. Or like a year and three months or something like that. All of that happened. Th these massive swings happened in like a year and three months. That's insane. So I think this is what the Fed is trying to avoid with all of this nonsense that's happening. They're like, okay, we're seeing inflation come down, but we're not getting exactly the numbers that we want. We still have massive job numbers, as we just saw on December 2nd, just a couple days ago, where essentially the US employers added 263,000 jobs and that crashed the market. We're still seeing a lot of economic signals that the Fed doesn't like when it comes to quelling inflation. After all, they did say that their main goal to lowering inflation is to essentially just cut jobs, which it's unfortunate, but He's pretty much just saying that he doesn't care about your well-being. He's going to get you fired, right? That's essentially what he's planning to do. To cut jobs to the point that people are unemployed, increase unemployment, and essentially just lower inflation that way. My personal opinion, that is a terrible thing to do because it is, well, to be fair, it's the only way that the government can actually lower interest rates as opposed to the free market way which is what I like is just essentially make more stuff, produce more supply. You increase supply, you lower demand or at least call demand to a point and inflation comes down. That's pretty much like the best way to do it because in order to get more supply, guess what? You need more jobs, you need more people. You increase that supply, congratulations. You no longer have inflation. But unfortunately, that's not necessarily what these people want, right? They essentially just want you unemployed. They, they want you out of a job because if you have a job, that means that inflation is too high and we can't have that. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much all I want to talk about in this video. Rather short. Didn't really have much to say. It's kind of a lull period. You know, it's December, the ending of the year. It's Christmas time. It's the holiday season. Kind of just want to keep it nice and chill. So like if you like, comment, subscribe. It really does help her with the algorithm on YouTube. You guys can follow me on my YouTube sites. I'll link in the description below. So with that said, peace out. And I will see you all in the next video.